Thanks for coming back for more pie, everyone. So I'm on my way back from Nebraska after two days of chasing, and I caught this beautiful supercell in Rapid City, North South Dakota, that just pummeled the city with some large hail. This is a time lapse that I shot on my phone, but I also got some amazing time lapses with raw photos from my camera. And so I tracked it with it all the way down into Nebraska, and I ended up getting caught in some at least golf ball size hail. There were white explosions happening all around me. Gosh dang it, look at that thing! Ah, oh, that, that's, we are so screwed. Oh, there it is. Where's my glasses? And I thought for sure that I was going to lose my back window back here because it's actually kind of flat. It was like super windy, and but it was I was driving with the wind, so a lot of the hail probably wasn't hitting my my Prius as much. So I don't know if that really caused. I mean, it did look like some of it was maybe softball size. I'm not sure. I, I, it's tough to look at the the video and really gauge the size of it without holding it. And so I also caught this trampoline that got kicked up by a big rear flank outflow gust. Whoa! Look at that trampoline! Oh my goodness! Dang! And so that was hilarious. So, and there was this building that I almost turned around to go drive under the awning and I was looking at Reed Timmer's live stream. He passed me like just seven minutes after, after I drove past there. And when he drove by that same building, the roof had been ripped off. Oh shit, look at this roof. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I eventually did see one car that just got wrecked with hail. My dash cam may have picked it up. I didn't quite get a chance to cover it with the camera. And so the day before, I also tried to get some landspout tornadoes out in northeastern Colorado. And I kind of got one. Ooh, that one looks good. Yeah, I think these are just like little gust nados though. Because there's an, I can't, the cloud base is way too high for it to be a Ooh, this is making a tube. Well, that's cool. Let's get the GoPro on. But it, it made a nice little tube, you know, it's kind of a spectacular dust double there. I was underneath an outflow boundary from another storm, but the, the base was far too high for it to have been a landspout tornado. So all in all, it was a pretty exciting couple of days. So if I get any more of these random little storm chases, I'll post more of these little update videos. Eventually I'm going to have to buckle down and edit my storm chasing videos. I did get some pretty interesting ones, even though I haven't really gotten much of anything in terms of tornadoes this year. But I still have like four storm chasing videos that happened a little less than a year ago. And during those I saw some good tornadoes, so I'll probably post those after I get the ones from this year posted. And all of those videos will definitely be coming out once things finally wind down from the summer and there's nothing left to chase and I can really get into a good editing routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and I'll see you next time.